Whenever we are working with a document, and let's say, for example, I add in a data over here, just like this, and uh, what we can do is you can actually save it by pressing over here or by pressing Control S right here. You can also optionally go to File and press on Save. But what that does is it overwrites the file that you're working with, so it's not always safe. So if I want to create another version of the file, I'm going to use something called Save As. And to do that, simply go to File right here and then go to Save As and then go to Browse right here. And then from over here, you can select uh, navigate to the drive you want to save it to and I'm going to save this as something else. For example, I'm going to say tutor tubes just like this. All right, so I'm going to say tutor. So it navigated to the folder right here. I'm going to say tutor tube. I'm going to uh, save this out right here, tutor tube. So I seem to have tutor tube folder. So it's navigating right here and it's being saved as tutor tube. So what th this does is the original file that you edited is actually still there and this creates a new copy of the file with the new data uh, which is actually good to keep multiple data if your uh, data gets corrupted and so forth. So this is how you can use save and save as feature inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe.